Welcome back to James's Repair Shop. You caught me working. I'm all winded now. I just drug the steel out from the backyard. I thought I'd get the steel in before uh, before uh, winter hits. It's uh, it's yeah, like I said in the snowblower video, we're pretty close. It's cooler today, much cooler. So I have the bulk of the steel in. I've got tons, not tons, but I've got piles of this type of steel. I think this is three inch box steel. So what this video is about is kind of gathering a little bit of your guys' thoughts on how to build this uh, rotisserie. So I have a set of plans and the plans are from Red Wing. Uh, they're, I, I believe they're the, the Dakotas and uh, they were so they were generous to uh, put up their uh, CAD files. Uh, I don't know if they're still up or not. Uh, this was quite a few years ago when I was planning this. Uh, you can buy the whole rotisserie from uh, Red Wing, a beautiful looking uh, setup. I like the, the look of it, I like how they built their machine. So if you're looking for a rotisserie, go to Red Wing if they're still uh, in business and buy one from them. I didn't think at the time the prices were that bad. Anyhow, uh, because they did offer up the uh, CAD files, I have the, the plan for their style of uh, rotisserie. However, I have my own thoughts that I'd like to try, but this is where you guys come in. I'd like to see what you guys think about it. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So you guys all remember I have this Max Jack um, lift. And I was thinking, but let me get, it's kind of set up on how, what I'm thinking and then I'll get back to you. So just bear with me for a minute. I'll be right back. side of the max jack off its bolts and I want to show you what I had in mind here just kind of get an angle where you can see it I may have to turn the camera down some so that's a good width I think for a, uh, a rotisserie yeah you can see that so I'll just bring the uh, max jack over and I'll show you what I've been thinking it's very simple um, and it would be simple to gear up and I measured I measured already the uh, height like the height to travel for the max jack in comparison to the uh, the width of the car because I have to go at least over three feet. The car is uh, the car is six feet six feet wide. That's roughly what I'm talking about right there. So I think this will work. I might pull it back and uh, well, we'll talk about the design later. What we'll talk about right now is the practicality of this thing. Is it practical? I can't spin it. I'm gonna bring you guys around where you can see it better. So just hold on. All right, there we go. We got it down around where you can see it now. So this this uh, lift will travel up to here because this is the, the retainer pin. This is the, the top locking pin right there. So I know that this lift, the base of the lift comes to here and I've measured it already from the bottom and I need three foot, well the car is uh, six foot two wide. So I need half of that and a little bit of more clearance. So I went uh, three foot three. I think it's actually, let me measure it again. I'll grab measuring tape. Because this is an important part of this whole project is making sure that you can actually rotate it and get it on there. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. So let's have a look. What did I say this was? From here up. Because this is where you're gonna measure, because this is your this will be on wheels, by the way. Uh, so to, to the base of this. I've got three foot seven and the car is six foot two wide. So it should be enough to bring it up and rotate it and clear this uh, base. So that's good. Um, 
Now where I put this, I think I might put it back like this a bit. And then uh, I can weld angle iron or uh, fillers like to bolt this right too. Or I could have it head and weld, weld nuts in there and bolt right to that. So I'm not sure about that. That's that's just a, a shifting here and there. Okay, uh, I was jammed right against the garage door the way I was videoing before. So I turned it all around and uh, I brought this set back up again. I have a set, I have actually an enormous amount of these wheels. I'm going to show you. I bought these wheels here on Amazon are usually for a box of four, about $180, $190 Canadian. So over the past two years, they come on sale on Amazon, $35 a box. So <laughs> I bought uh, five boxes, much to my wife's uh, dismay. But they are nice six inch wheels. Uh, there's two swivel casters and I think, no, well, maybe they're all swivel. Let's have a look. I just forget now, I think they're all swivel. Get them opened up here. Maybe only two swivel and two fixed. I just can't. Hold on a second. I have one of these boxes open. I don't know why I just didn't get it. There we go. Well, there's a swivel caster right there. Six inch swivel caster with a urethane. They're a solid uh, alloy hub. And they have bearings and they're uh, urethane on it and they're swivel with grease fittings. I think they're all swivel but only two have a lock. That's what it is, yeah. So they're all swivel. Take them all over here. Yep, that's swivel. I want to make sure, we got to sure I ordered all swivel. Yep, everything's swivel. But only two have the locking hub. So, I will be putting one of these under there somewhere. And then, of course, on the, each, each side like that. So remember, I have 20 of these. <laughs> so, I needed, uh, so I needed at least six, three for each end. And I would like to have one in the middle, but I don't want it to be so if there's a rise in the floor or uneven floor that it rides up on it. So I might just leave them outward. These are good for 750 pounds each, like these guys. So that's got a lock on it. And I'll just lock, lock these two here so I can get them either. And this is just a swivel, no lock. So somewhere in there, so like that. Let me get this out of the way. I still have another one. Box of the four. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, I'm asking you guys uh, what you think of this. Now I do have, like I said, I have the Red Wing uh, plans and it's just a conventional, the old regular rotisserie with the post and the swivel. And I actually already bought uh, the big red hydraulic jacks, the long stroke jacks. So I have two of those. So I'm not, don't really have to buy anything now. Uh, maybe some metal for a swivel point if I went with the Red Wing. So the swivel point, what it brings me to now is this. If I decide to go this way with the max jack, which I'm, I'm leaning into, so just a heads up, I'm asking you guys, but I'm still leaning into it. I just want you guys to maybe, maybe you can see something I'm missing that won't work, that you think it won't work, um, in difference of the other rotisserie. So what, the, not it's not an issue these arms I got one right here so these arms these are the ones that go under the car and all that jazz and they normally go up like so I don't want that to fall so I'll just tip it right there and they'll go like well you can see it goes right to the middle but they also go straight out so what I was thinking I would pull these off these these parts don't, don't come out they're well there's a stopper weld in so I'll have to leave them in but if I had, 
even if it's a pier, a, uh, a piece of tube that goes from one arm to the other. I'll have another arm here, and the only need put this up so it doesn't tip this over. So they would only be this far apart. I could put a piece that would slide over the end, and I could put a pin in and hold them. Uh, I could even use the pins that are here. And that would give me lots of space. This jack will lift the whole car, no problem. Uh, and that would give me lots of space to move around and stuff like that. And if I find it's too long, I can move it back here. But I would build it to go around this tube right here. And, uh, but then what I was thinking about doing, I uh, hope you can still see me, I have a piece that goes across here that slides over. And on it, we'll have uh, the next piece that goes up for the uh, frame rails, for the brackets that go to the car. And, but to swivel it, I was going to use uh, wheel bearings from uh, GM, from Saturn, a Saturn View. Uh, I have four of them, four old wheel bearings that are still in good shape. And I only need the two, so I can put a wheel bearing in. I could even do two on each side of this piece. If I wanted to really, but I mean, a wheel bearing is not going to go anywhere. And then put my uh, lifting bracket on. So that's my plan. So, what do you guys think? Do you, <laughs> do you think this is worth the effort, or should I just go ahead and, and make the uh, make the red the red wing style, which is going to be basically the same, except it's just going to have a steel post here and the swivel up in here which I'm okay with, but I was just trying to think, well, this is all hydraulic and uh, easy. It's already here. I already have it. I'm not looking to get out of this. I mean, the, the rotisserie has to be built safe, and that's what I'm shooting for, so I don't want anything that's going to just not be safe. Um, so I'm thinking I'm leaning this way, but I want you guys to let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good idea, or do you think it's a crappy idea? Do you think I should just go with the Red Wing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, looking forward to your input on it. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next one. We'll get this rotisserie going.